So good afternoon, everybody. Uh, first of all, thank you for coming. And uh, I know it was a short notice for all of you. So my name is Dr. Raju, Srinivas Raju Kalidindi. I'm a radiologist. I work uh, for Apollo uh, Radiology International. I'm the CEO and medical director. And uh, we have an education division called ARI Academy. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So I, uh, I trained as a radiologist in India, first in the Nizam's Institute in Hyderabad. And then I moved to UK and uh, worked there for about 10 years and came back and uh, have been with Apollo since 2016. So radiology is a, a specialty that deals with scans, I'm sure most of you know. And because there has been an improvement in uh, technology in the last 10 years or so, uh, the ability to look into the patient's body using scans is now far better than what it used to be uh, 10, 20, 30 years ago. So that means a lot of the diseases have been, uh, are now diagnosed using scanning, imaging, uh, without the need for surgeries uh, and any other invasive procedures. So radiology has become extremely important. Radiologists play a very important role in patient management. Uh, so you can see in India now that there are scanning centers everywhere. Uh, there are diagnostic centers, very high-end equipment is being brought into the country. And this is not only in the major cities now, even the you know, towns and smaller towns also have this imaging equipment. But the doctors that read these scans, uh, that are radiologists, the training that is given to these doctors is still uh, not changed much. So we still do a three years post-graduation program, uh, like in the 1960s and 70s, that has not changed. And also the training uh, quality across the country is very variable. There are some really good training schemes, and there are uh, not some not very good schemes as well. So because if the doctors are not good, then the diagnosis may not be good enough, and ultimately patients suffer. So we set out to do a lot of things to improve the situation in India, and help uh, you know the other training centers uh, you know uh, produce better radiologists. Made several representations to the Royal College and ultimately managed to get that exam center in India. So that is considered to be a, one of the major benchmarks in the history of radiology in this country. So now we conduct those exams two, three times a year. Several hundreds of radiologists come and, and take those exams. So once we got the center, we now then wanted to look at how to improve the performance of the radiologist in the exam. Because there used to be a difference in you know, the number of people, or the percentage of people passing the exam, uh, those trained in the UK, uh, the more number of them passed, and Indian pass rate was not that very high. So we started preparation courses. So we run uh, an FRCR to be preparation course. So I request Dr. Dave Roberts, uh, who has been helping us uh, with this course for several years now, to say a few words about the course. Dr. Raju. Um, I just introduce myself. My name is Dr. Dave Roberts. Um, I was a consultant in Swansea in South Wales for nearly 30 years and retired four to five years ago. Uh, but more importantly, uh, I was an examiner in the Royal College in London for six to seven years. Uh, during that time, uh, I was senior examiner. I've also examined uh, abroad in Singapore and also in the Arab Board of Radiology. So hopefully you can see that my background is very much uh, in the examination field. And together with my good friend here, Professor Ash, who uh, also has been a senior examiner in the Royal College in London, uh, we both felt that the problem with Indian radiology was not the knowledge that the Indian radiologists had but actually uh, the tips and tricks that we could bring to them to actually improve their performance uh, in the Royal College exam. And I hope over the last five years, that's exactly what we've done. Uh, Dr. Raju has put together a fantastic faculty um, and also clearly some of the benefits of the course that we deliver are that we use the same software uh, that is actually used in the Royal College exam. This is the only course in the world that does that. 
So there are some huge benefits from attending the course in Hyderabad. And ultimately, I think our aim was to produce a level playing field for the Indian candidates. And I think the proof of the pudding is in the exam pass rate, which we have improved hugely. Uh, I think I'm right in saying that the Indian pass rate was probably of the order of 30 to 40 percent. Well, we are now up to 60 to 70 percent, which is the pass rate for the UK candidates. So I feel that along with the faculty, uh, we have delivered a fantastic course in Hyderabad that has made a difference to Indian radiology. And that is down to Dr. Raju's uh, foresight and uh, his delivery of the course. And I can only thank him for that. Thank you very much, Dr. Raju. Just in the world. So we, uh, we've done the course, we've done the exams, and then we wanted to uh, give some help to people who are doing MD and DNB in some of the colleges where the training may not be really uh, adequate. So we started another program, it's called Global Radiology Training Program. It's a two years course that the radiologists can do while they are doing their MD and DNB PG course. So this is something that will support their training and hopefully make them uh, you know, on par with the Western trained radiologists. So uh, for that to be delivered, we needed uh, a leader who understands how the curriculum works uh, because we, uh, we have mainly using uh, the Royal College of Radiologists curriculum. And then we needed a, a team of people uh, who are really experienced in teaching. So I'm very glad that you know, Professor Ash Chakraborty uh, here has agreed to come on board as the course director for that course. And he, along with the team of uh, uh, very experienced radiologists from across the world, are bringing the world-class radiology education to the Indian radiologist doorstep. So normally to do that, they will have to go to the US and UK, spend a lot of money, and not everybody can afford it. But now that training is coming to India at a cost that is affordable to everyone. So I request uh, Professor Ash to uh, say... Introduction of myself. So I'm an Indian, a Bengali, who was born in India. I was brought up in India. I did my initial graduation in Kolkata. <clears throat> then I went over to UK. And uh, over the years, so I'm a pediatric radiologist. So I do the child, children are my specialty. But I have been also heavily involved with teaching and training, as Raju said. In the Royal College, I have been an examiner, a senior examiner, chair of the exam board. I've also been heavily involved with setting up the Royal College training. I was part of the curriculum committee who wrote the whole curriculum for the Royal College. I was also chair for professional learning and development for the Royal College. So I have got over the last 15 years quite a lot of bit of experience in how to set up radiology training, how to set up exams, how to set standards. <clears throat> in order to make sure that the radiologists who come out of the program are of really good quality. And the quality is important because the patients will then get the benefit out of it. I'm also the professor and head of radiology for Oxford University. So I've got that sort of experience as well. So coming back to this program, so I met Dr. Raju while I was in the college and we exchanged ideas and we felt both of us have got the common passion of doing something also for India. I've done my bit elsewhere in the world, but I want to also, I've got my heart in India, so I want to give something back to India as well. And part of that program is to see how we can improve training in India. The training in India, as Dr. Raju said, is three years, where in the Western world, it's a minimum of five years. What is the most essential part of the training is something all we call as core curriculum or core radiology training. And that is the part when a radiologist get training all around in all the specialties so they can become a good general radiologist. After that, they can do subspecialty training if they want to specialize. But the core radiology training is the foundation of a good radiologist. And in my view, that is the part we need to tackle initially. So for that reason, we are running this two-year GRTP program, Global Radiology Training Program. So I have used my experience of uh, creating the curriculum in the Royal College, and I've created a bespoke, detailed curriculum for the Indian trainees. 
I have also managed to get the best of best radiologists all around the world. They are from UK, they are from India, they are from Middle East, they are from America, like Dr. Kalva here is part of my faculty. So we have got the absolute best people who are teachers, who are well known internationally, to come and join the faculty. And they are the ones who are going to personally deliver the training. And this training, what we are trying to do is to be not only about the educational content, but also how to talk to patients, how to have clinical governance, all aspects of training we are covering. And what we are hoping that this, along with their DNB or MD program, when they finish it and undertake it, they will become a radiologist who can be compared to the best in the world. And they will have the confidence to go anywhere, join any in a sort of diagnostic center or a teaching hospital or a university and they will be respected but more importantly they will provide the best care for the country and the people in that country and doing this in India I, we hope that a lot of them will remain in India and provide that care to the Indian population because they are no different from the population elsewhere in the world and I'm quite passionate about this and along with Dr. Raju we have so that opportunity is not uh, uh, widely available in India. So we wanted to look at that. Just by way of introduction, I am a professor of radiology at Harvard Medical School in the US. And uh, I'm really fortunate uh, to be here as part of this uh, mini fellowship program. Now, before I kind of talk about uh, the importance of doing that, just wanted to congratulate uh, Dr. Raju and his team on the excellent uh, organizational uh, effort that has been put into you know making this a success and I, I can clearly see the value of uh, uh, radiology residents in training here in this country uh, availing of this this wonderful opportunity so as you all know I think imaging or radiology is now the uh, stethoscope of the medical industry you cannot walk into a hospital and get assessed without getting some kind of imaging and you need to be highly specialized in terms of looking at uh, imaging, you know, gone are the days when you had a radiologist who could do head to toe. Now you have to be specialized in certain anatomic areas and 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 you know provide the necessary uh, uh, clinical information that is required from our uh, colleagues for appropriately treating and triaging the patients. And so I think doing this kind of mini fellowship program exposes the radiology. Uh, uh, residents in training and also established radiologists to the nuances or the subtleties of what goes into the uh, in, in terms of doing subspecialty or practicing subspecialty radiology. So I think this would be extremely valuable and beneficial to the radiology community at large here and again congratulate Dr. Raju and taking the effort and, and developing this program and, and hopefully this kind of grows and, and the community at, at large in India benefits from this exposure. Uh, I'm Professor of Radiology at Harvard and the Chief of Interventional Radiology at Mass General Hospital. Interventional Radiology is an exciting specialty. We use imaging guidance of CT scan, MRI scans, and fluoroscopy and ultrasound to see inside the body and operate inside the body. So these surgeries are less expensive and sometimes can replay the surgery with better outcomes for the patient. So we need a lot of them in India to treat patients. There are only a few of interventional radiologists in India being trained at big institutions, but many of the small towns do not have enough interventional radiologists to cater to the population. So our aim with this program is to train a lot more interventional radiologists in India through a combination of simulation and outpatient training at multiple institutions so, radiology is uh, medicine law ka specialty, and we can So, one of CT, MRI scans, and X rays, even So, we put almost any uh, uh, diagnosis said and scans on the So, India la koda, Megata, Western countries lage, manchi, uh, equipment undi, CT, MRI, modern equipment is cost uh, But radiologists, leverage doctors or scans uh, while training in Western countries is equal to our acquiring training in Karale. We have a mood social chest on radiology, Melta, UK, US, Norway, Loyal, Chester. So time is taku. Rendo the teaching chase in departments could have Monkoni Manchi on I, Chalamans departments on I. 
బట్ చిన్న డిపార్ట్మెంట్స్లో ఆ రకమైన ట్రైనింగ్ లేదు సో ఆ ట్రైనింగ్ లేకపోతే ఈ రేడియాలజిస్టులు మంచి డయాగ్నోసిస్ ఇవ్వలేరు మెషిన్ ఒకటే మంచిది ఉంటే సరిపోదు డాక్టర్స్ కూడా ట్రైనింగ్ ఉండాలి సో ఆ డయాగ్నోసిస్ లేకపోతే పేషెంట్ ట్రీట్మెంట్ సఫర్ అవుతుంది సో దీనికి కావాల్సిన స్పెషలిస్ట్ ట్రైనింగ్ మనకి ఇండియా నుంచి చాలా తక్కువ మంది బయటకు వెళ్ళి డబ్బులు ఖర్చు పెట్టి చేయగలుగుతారు మిగతా వాళ్ళకి ఆ అవకాశం లేదు సో మన వాళ్ళు వెళ్ళటం కన్నా ట్రైనింగ్నే ఇండియా తీసుకురావడం అనేది దట్స్ ద కాన్సెప్ట్ మేము దాని మీద పని చేస్తున్నాం సో వీళ్ళు అందరూ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ డాక్టర్స్ వాళ్ళ టైం యూటిలైజ్ చేసి ఇండియాకి ఏదో ఒకటి మళ్ళీ వెనక్కి ఇవ్వాలి అన్న సిద్ధాంతంతో మనకి సపోర్ట్ చేస్తున్నారు అందుకని ఈ పెద్ద ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్లో ఆక్స్ఫర్డ్ హార్వర్డ్ అన్ని నుంచి వచ్చారు సో వాళ్ళు మనతో పాటు కలిసి ఇండియన్ రేడియాలజిస్ట్ వాళ్ళు ఎక్కడున్నా సరే డబ్బులతో సంబంధం లేకుండా ఆర్థిక స్తంభంతో సంబంధం లేకుండా వాళ్ళు ఈ రకమైన ఇంటర్నేషనల్ ట్రైనింగ్ తెచ్చుకొని మంచి డయాగ్నోసిస్ ఇచ్చి పేషెంట్కి బెటర్ ట్రీట్మెంట్ ఇవ్వడం కోసం చేసిన ప్రయత్నం డేటా దట్ రేడియాలజిస్ట్ హ్యాండిల్ సో సో ద యాక్యురసీ ఫ్యాక్ట్ అగైన్ ద టెక్నాలజీ ఈజ్ చేంజింగ్ ఎవ్రీ నావ్ ఇన్ దెన్ సో హౌ డూ యూ పర్సీవ్ దట్ దట్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ క్వశ్చన్ ఐ థింక్ వెరీ పర్టినెంట్ క్వశ్చన్ టు ద కరెంట్ సిచ్యువేషన్ సో టెక్నాలజీ హ్యాస్ బీన్ అ కార్నర్ స్టోన్ ఆఫ్ రేడియాలజీ ఫ్రమ్ ద బిగినింగ్ నావ్ ఏఐ ఈజ్ గోయింగ్ టు నాట్ రీప్లేస్ రేడియాలజీ బట్ ఇన్ ఫ్యాక్ట్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ టు హెల్ప్ రేడియాలజీ బికమ్ ఈవెన్ మోర్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ so there are two things that we do as radiologist one is detecting the abnormality and the second thing is interpreting it and then coming to a, a clinical conclusion so it's the second bit that ai cannot replace it but it might help us in you know, identifying the problems easily in fact it will reduce the number of mistakes radiologist makes because the detection is done by the the the, the machines and the radiologist can uh, spend more time on forming an opinion so we do a lot of work on ai we've been you know, partners with some of the large uh, uh, multinational companies so uh, so we think ai will help radiology rather than replace it and these courses are therefore important because we are not focusing on just making a diagnosis in these courses we want radiologists to be confident to come to a clinical level conclusion and then communicate with the other doctors to see how we can help the patient so that ai cannot do at least not in the near future